Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose, this is Delilah Spiritual Spot, coming with your weekly reading for May 24th to the 30th, April, <laughs> to the 30th, uh, 2021. Um, it's been a, a minute, it's been a few weeks since I recorded. Unfortunately, life happens. I got a little sick, um, and then work has been tremendously busy. Um, too much information, but I am trying to get a balance of work, um, this work, and my family life. And you know, I'm 46 years old. Sometimes we still all need more time figuring things out, and that's okay. And it's okay to take a break and you know, not overwhelm yourself. Ooh, it was a lot. So Aries, let's just get into your reading. I'm going to be using some oracle cards here. I set up the camera a little different. You get to see my um, tarot card holder box thingy. Uh, I hope you like this view better and this less camera interruption. So Aries, you have uniqueness, right? So unique, perfect self-honor. So this is really honoring yourself, honoring your unique self. Um, and that's important because that comes into acceptance, accepting who you are, what you are, you know, your dreams, your quirkiness, accepting yourself. And then we have direction, uh, true calling, life path. So you seem to be going through a metamorphosis right now in terms of who you are, what you're dreaming about doing, what direction you want to go into. And I like that there's an arrow here and she seems to be on a journey while she's walking to the water. There's this um, rainbow bridge uh, is what I want to say, call it. Um, yeah, so lots of uh, inner work to do areas this week. So I am going to be using two decks from the Liminal 11 um, Publish Publishing Corporation. Excuse me. So I'm going to be using, um, what is this? Eek. Okay, so it, I'll put it down in the description because I have lost it apparently so three cards here see my setup um, subconscious conscious and advice slash outcome from spirit um, I will clarify and then I will probably clarify again so we'll just get into this reading and I hope you enjoy it we have a flipper so you have a page of swords sorry for the background noise that might be my pet page of swords right and then we have the seven of wands in our conscious mind wow so you so you are battling some demons here with that page of swords being in our subconscious so it, it could be fighting um who you want to become like what your dreams are this is like the self-doubt so i like that she's wielding the sword because she's trying to take charge in her life let's clarify further here you know, you have wands here, which is creativity. You have swords, which is the mind. So sometimes it's a battle between the creative and um, the logical intellect mind. We have the world card clarifying that seven of wands. I mean, this is oh, this is not a bad reading. Um, you have the strength card clarifying that four of wands. At the bottom of the deck, you have the ten of swords. So this is what we were talking about, the conflicts. Um, but this could be internal conflict, right? So sometimes the enemy is the enemy within and not uh, actual person, right? Sometimes it's just you. Uh, self-defeating. And I actually think that that's at, uh, what's going on with you, Aries. It's like a self-defeating attitude you're, you're having towards yourself. A feeling like a failure, feel like, feeling like you can't, um, you can't do anything right is what I want to say is the language. Uh, and the words that spirit is giving me so uh, this is definitely the Luna the soul tarot by uh, liminal 11 and yeah that's that what that's exactly what so in our subconscious mind sorry for the babbling we have our page, uh, page of swords now the page of swords you know pages are about learning right they're the learners that uh, they're the person before they become the Knights so when, when you're, you're a page, you know, it's a new project. Um, it's, it's going after what you want. You know, it could be um, truth. It could be gossip. You know, it's just a lot of things that are happening in your mind. And these are all the thoughts. And this is why I love this card in this subconscious position. 
because these, these thoughts are at war of you. You're listening to what other people expect of you, what other people wanted from you. And, to, and then it's in battle with what you want for yourself. What you want for yourself needs to win in order for you to be happy, right? And that's what life is. It's about your happiness, your fulfillment. You don't live for other people, you live for yourself, right? Sometimes we have responsibilities and we have to take care of our kids, but that doesn't mean you don't take care of yourself. Clarifying that is the five of wands. Now here's the creativity part, you know, but five of wands speaks to um, obstacles. You know, uh, uh, and what is the obstacle? Is it you? Um, and I happen to think it is. It's self-defeating, right? And this is clarified by the two of discs here. So this is trying to get a balance and a grip on things. You know, a grip on what it is you want versus what you have, what you want to accomplish. Can you accomplish it? Um, but balancing that out with reality of the situation, of your situation because we all have big dreams. I have big dreams myself. Just because I'm 46 doesn't mean I don't have big dreams, but it's still going after your dreams, but going after it with some discernment um, and some forethought is what I wanna give you. In our conscious mind here, we have this uh, Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands um, is about self-defense. It's, it's about protection, right? If protection is you not going after your dream, right? That's ignoring what it is you want to do. It's putting your dreams aside, right? Because you feel like that's going to protect, you know, your ego or your mind. When in actuality, it will not. It, it will just make you hate yourself for not trying in the first place in the long run. This is clarified by the world card. Like if you go after what it is you wanna go after, so if that's a new career, if it's a new relationship, I mean, and it could be, um, I, I I, don't think this is an, for most of you because this is a, a general read for all Aries. So take whatever is relevant for you. But if this is in terms of a relationship, this is telling you to go for what you want uh, because ultimately it's going to lead to your happiness and that goes in line with business as well Go after the things you want bring some happiness in your life. It's not selfish To think about your needs uh, Let's pull a clarifier out We have the eight of discs and this is literally working towards your goal, right? So it's like uh, pentacles So, you know, it's mastering your craft mastering yourself you know, figuring it out. Again, this is, has to do a, with a lot of self-love. Sorry if you hear my fan in the background. It's 10,000 degrees uh, here, apparently. Um, in our outcome slash advice column, you have the Four of Wands. Uh, and the Four of Wands is about celebrations. It's about family. It's, it's just about happiness. It's coming together. Um, but I like that this kind of looks like a Gemini card. So, like... Um, Gemini could be involved, but this also is yourself. Celebrating you, celebrating your accomplishments, your goals, your dreams, you know? Again, you don't have to go all in one step at a time. Clarifying that is the strength card. Like you're stronger than, you're stronger than you think. You can do whatever it is you want to do. Again, don't feel overwhelmed, take things slow. Let's pull a clarifier card here. Ooh, two cards came out <laughs> you see we have the ten of swords and we have the nine of swords this cycle is completing itself with the ten of swords being present so you know without you stabbing yourself in the back because i think you need to look in the mirror for that um and this is part of your anxieties you know your anxieties of you don't want to fail right you don't want to be rejected but it, you never know the answer if you don't ask the question so ask yourself the questions go after what it is you want to do uh, this is clarified here also by the king of discs. Like if you put your fears aside, if you go after your goals, whether that's a new relationship, new career, uh, moving, it's going to bring fruition to you, right? And this is actually the eight of cups, right? Do you see this person is moving on, moving forward, leaving no, what no longer serves you behind and doing what it is you want to do. 
Um, and that's a great empowering message for you, Aries. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot. Thank you for joining me.